Greetings YouTube. I would like to share a trick that I've discovered for creating sky bridges in Minecraft. Um, this is a trick for those of you who are like me adopting awesome Matt G's uh, floating sky bridge with really not so floating but pillars underneath it because I think it looks ridiculous when uh, and there's nothing supported, and a friend pointed out to me that if uh, you're not putting supports under this, if you're just extending it from like where my home is there to the new area I want to get to with no support underneath it, then you don't need this trick at all. So uh, if you're if you're into the support columns, then this is useful. If not, um, then don't worry about it. I'm going to increase the fog uh, just a little bit so that it doesn't lag me out. And basically the idea I ran into is, if you're going for any distance at all, um, you probably could start there and just use the sneak technique and build all the way out, build all the way out, build all the way out. But if you like the columns underneath, you've got them spaced out. Uh, the ideal thing is to start down there, build up one, and then you've got the right height to continue your bridge. And I'll show you the, the benefit for that. You listening, sheep? Alright, so here's my columns. And basically, you just start on one of them. And there's the other end of my bridge. So you build up to that height. And once you get up to the right height, obviously a fall from even this height you weren't falling into like a lake would be pretty uh, damaging to you and your armor. So I'm gonna take a page out of Matt, awesome Matt G's book. I like building a little foundation under my sky bridge because I think it looks cooler. So basically when you're done laying out all of your sky bridge the problem is, how do you get back down to your next column? And like I said, if you're not building uh, pillars underneath, then don't worry about it. Just keep building and build over to where you want to go, and then you'll be all set. But if you do like the pillars, you either have the choice of jumping down and taking a whole heck of a lot of damage, or running way back over there to where you started, and running back down the length of your bridge. And, you know, what happens if you fall off, if you accidentally forget to hold down the shift key? So you're sneaking. Um, what I did is I brought a single bucket of water with me. And when you scoop that water up and place it at the end of your bridge, it creates a water elevator that takes you safely all the way down you know, you're breathing underwater a little bit, but there you're on the ground, and you're ready for climbing up to your next area. Just switch back to your cobblestones and start digging again. You've got the bucket with you, so when you get back up there, just pick your water elevator up and move it to the next area, and back down and back up. So, I hope this was helpful to people building sky bridges with supports and not having to run all the way back to their start point. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.